is background radiation. So, we live here on planet Earth. I assume you're watching from planet Earth. I hope you are. Actually, no, do I? Anyway. On Earth, there are various types of radiation which we're exposed to all the time. Now, some of that radiation comes from the sun, cosmic rays. Some of that radiation comes from the food we eat and the way it's sterilized. Some of it comes from rocks which might be nearby. Some of it might come from uh, like medical equipment if you're gonna have an X-ray. Some of it might come if you walk over uh, Hiroshima or, or, or Chernobyl or like a, a, a somewhere which has had a, a, a some sort of disaster like Fukushima. But most of it comes from radon gas. 50% of all the background radiation comes from radon gas, which is the symbol RN, and it's just this colourless, odourless, radioactive gas which is present in the air all around us. It depends like, on what kind of rocks are nearby as to its concentration and how prolific it is, but in general, most of the background radiation is accounted for from this radon gas. There are little spots you know, of different countries with slightly greater concentrations depending on what the rock type around it is. Certain rocks give off more radiation than others. Background radiation isn't really a problem for us uh, in general. It's unless you're in very exceptional circumstances. Uh, if you're an airline pilot, you're exposed to a few more cosmic rays than us down on like, the sea level Earth because most of the, the dangerous cosmic rays are absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere. So not many of them actually make it through the atmosphere, through the ozone, to actually affect us, although some do, about 10, 15% roughly. Most of it comes from radon gas. We get some from food, we get some from uh, rocks, we get some from medical imaging, only a tiny, tiny fraction. I mentioned at the beginning nuclear power stations and fallout, etc., like that, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But actually only a tiny fraction of that does come from those sources, like around 1%, so it's really a minuscule amount. Uh, in the grand scheme of things. So that's background radiation for you. You can learn more about half-life here or the types of radiation here, so you can check those out. This is Physics Friend, you can subscribe there. And if you have any comments or questions, then please just do write them in the box and I'll just type back to you and answer them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.